Do you ever feel like time just slips away from you? Like you get to the end of the day and end up thinking, what did I even achieve today? Well, that is very much me. So I set out to find out how much time I was wasting by tracking my time. And what I actually found out was a little bit more alarming. If we're just meeting, hi, I am Jess or Jashi Karen, and I struggle with time management. I have a tendency to get very wrapped up in what I'm doing, whether that be work related or leisure related, thinking something's only gonna take me about 20 minutes, and then I look at the clock and it's been four hours. How? So I'm undertaking an experiment to figure out where my time is actually going and how much time I'm actually spending on things by tracking my time in 15 minute increments over a two week period. Today is our one week check-in, so let's have a look at what we've found out. In starting this experiment, what I was hoping to find out was one, how much time time I was actually spending in different areas of my life, two, where I was wasting time, and three, how could I then use that information to build a weekly routine that kind of leans into my natural tendencies. What I actually found out though is that my work-life balance is busted. That's probably the nicest way I can put that. In my initial video in this experiment, I talked about the Excel document that I was using to record my time tracking data. And I mainly went with Excel because then it can add up how much time I spent in each area for me. I don't have to do that myself. Especially because I'm recording this information in 15 minute blocks, I did not want to have to add all of those up myself. This also meant that I could use functions in Excel to calculate the percentage of my time spent, both in terms of the full 24 hours in a day, and also in terms of my waking hours, or the hours that I am awake. In terms of how I went about recording this, because I was doing it in 15 minute blocks, I decided just to record it as whatever I spent the majority of that block of time doing. So if I spent 8 minutes doing one task and only 7 minutes doing another, I picked whatever the 8 minute task was. Often my time didn't really work out like that, I usually spent a lot more of the 15 minute block doing one particular thing, so that was kind of handy. But it just gave me a rule to play with so that I knew that I was consistent throughout my recording. When it came to multitasking, I decided to record it as whatever was getting the majority of my focus. So for instance, if I was watching TV while having dinner, I'd probably be more likely to record it as TV time rather than dinner time because the TV would be getting more of my focus than the food. I did have to be mindful while doing my time tracking not to let the recording of the information influence the outcome. Kind of like when you know somebody's watching you do something, so you do it slightly differently. For instance, if you have someone attentively watching you clean your room, you'll do it with more focus and faster compared to when left to your own devices. I kind of mean that literally. Like I'd probably have a tendency to end up whipping out my phone at some point and spending 15 minutes just going down an Instagram rabbit hole. But I wanted to make sure that I was recording that kind of time spent accurately as well. I recorded my data with a lot of specificity as to what I was doing at any given time, so this isn't super useful. So what I instead decided to do was then simplify it a little bit just by categorizing each of the different tasks that I was doing. That gives us this version, which is also color coded because it's nicer to look at, but taking a more zoomed out look at it so we can actually see where my time went. And I also got rid of the hours from 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. because that's sleepy time. Here you can see an overview of where my time went. So anything in blue is a work related task. Anything in that brighter purple is leisure time. So things like social time, it could be gaming, TV, movies, anything like that. Anything in a light gray is a life admin type task. So things like meal times, like breakfast, lunch, shower time, daily routine things. The pale purple that we've mainly removed is the rest time. That's because the majority of the rest hours are between 1 a.m. and 7 a.m. And anything in that dark gray color that you can kind of see scattered around here is wasted time. Or what I'm calling fake leisure time because it's just me mindlessly scrolling through my phone. At a first glance, we have a whole lot of blue, but also some good chunks of that brighter purple color. So I could almost trick myself into thinking that my work-life balance wasn't that bad. But then I had to remember that this actually isn't a super typical week for me. A lot of the gaming time that we have on here isn't something that I'd normally do. It's just that Vogel and I have recently got into a new game, so a lot of time has been spent playing that. Also, the social time that we have on Sunday in those larger purple blocks was a little bit out of the usual. They had a $5 ticket day at the cinema, so we went and saw two movies in a row. So when we change from this view over to the pie graph, and it says that 39% of my time is spent on work, that's on a week that was already quite leisure heavy. As is kind of expected, about a third of my time, or 32%, is going to rest. 
20% going to leisure and then 6% going to life admin. So this is for the 24 hours, seven days a week in one week. I think that the biggest surprise here was that fake leisure time only actually took up 3% of my time. I was predicting that percentage wise that was gonna be a lot higher. So I guess that's a good thing. Where it gets a little bit more alarming though is when we change from the total time view to the waking time view or the time where I'm actually awake. So taking rest out of the equation. In that view, we see that 57% of my waking hours are spent working and 30% of my awake time is spent doing leisure tasks. Or at least that's what happened this week. And again, remember this was kind of a weird week in terms of leisure. Normally I don't have those type of leisure activities happening. And this is why I'm tracking two weeks, not just one. In terms of my awake time, 4% of it is spent on leisure activities that aren't really cup filling. So fake leisure or scrolling my phone aimlessly. In that fake leisure time, I also include aimlessly scrolling my iPad or my computer, anything like that. So it doesn't just have to be my phone. It's effectively mindless internet time. Having a look at the raw data though, you can see I got very specific in terms of which tasks were getting how much of my attention. So over the week, we had 53 and a half hours of rest time. But looking again at our more simplified version of the data, you can see that in terms of work time, I had 65 and a half hours of work time this week, which I certainly would not have expected before actually having done this experiment. I knew that my work-life balance was kind of off, but that is a lot of work time across the week. Especially given the fact that this was a week that was kind of heavy in terms of my leisure time, typically a lot of that leisure time would have been taken up by work as well. It's also not great to see that four hours and 45 minutes was fake leisure time. When you think about it as a percentage, it doesn't sound so bad, but when I think about it in terms of four hours and 45 minutes spent wasted on my phone, that's not so great. But then we get into what questions does this raise for me? Where do we go next with this information? Well, one question in particular that I had was around the quality of time spent. Yes, I spent 65 and a half hours on work, but how much of that was quality work time? One of the things that I thought might be influencing this was how often I was changing tasks. Cause I know there is a little bit of a startup lag every time you change tasks to do something new. So having a look at my time logging based in terms of how often I was changing tasks, so each of the columns are just a different color so we can kind of visually separate them. But then each of the time blocks where I've changed to a different task then changes the tone of that color. You can see on Thursday in particular, we had a lot of switching around also on Saturday. And I know that on Saturday, I didn't feel very productive. I got to the end of the day feeling like I hadn't really accomplished as much. So I am wondering if whether the switching of tasks is kind of leading me to that feeling or leading me to be less productive with the time I'm using. Another question I have is how this week is going to be different to last week. As mentioned, last week had a lot more leisure time compared to usual. So will this week be similar in terms of amount of work done? Or am I going to have more? Am I going to have less than I expect? We'll have to wait and find out. I still can't believe that it was 65 and a half hours though. That was kind of surprising. <laughs> After tracking my data next week, we'll then have two weeks that I can average over, which means I'm going to get a better picture of how I'm actually spending my time in a more typical sense. We can then use that information to set up a weekly schedule or a weekly timetable that leans into how much time things actually take me and my natural tendencies in terms of when I like to do things. If you want to make sure that you don't miss out on those videos, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. For now though, I'm going to go and log the time spent filming this video. So until next time. Bye.